Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. My name is Emmanuel Cyprian. In this video, I want to quickly explain a few things in regards to uh, cyber security job, uh, security clearances, uh, maybe US citizenship or green card or, or green card. Now, a lot of you guys must have taken uh, cyber security training and then hoping to get you know find yourself maybe one job in cyber security or IT and some of this training or some of this job might be within the US government agencies now US government agency is not the only employer of cyber security analysts out there there are other commercial organizations that hires and employs cybersecurity analysts. The financial institutions, uh, the healthcare, the manufacturing, and um, every other sector, insurance, they hire cybersecurity analysts. However, the risk management framework, which comprises NIST publications, FISMA, SSP, SAR, uh, FEDRAM, uh, categorization, um, ATO, authorization and assessment. Majority of these things that I just listed now, which is under the risk management framework, they are mostly tilted towards US government agencies. Yes. They are mostly tilted towards US government agencies. However, all other commercial organizations, they look for such skill set as well to hire. But 90% of the employer for this kind of skill set, that is the risk management framework, is the US government agencies. Now, the US government agencies, they have a minimum requirement for them to hire you and one of them is you must either be a u.s citizen or a green card holder and you must be able to obtain a security clearance there are some jobs that might be so you know uh sensitive the environment might be sensitive and the, the information you'll be exposed to might also be sensitive that they might require someone that has active security clearance as minimum requirement so in such cases what do you do so it's either you are a green card holder or u.s citizen and you have ability to obtain a security clearance having the ability to obtain a security clearance means that there is nothing in your background in your credit score uh, that will stop you from obtaining a security clearance security clearances are of different levels there is a public trust there is a secret clearance there is a top secret clearance and there is a top secret clearance with polygraph those are the security clearance level that i am familiar with there might be more than that those are the ones i'm familiar with so if you are faced with those hurdles after taking the risk management framework training you are now in the job market and majority of the recruiters reaching out to you they are demanding that you are either a u.s citizen and you must have an active security clearance please and please don't be discouraged don't be discouraged why because there are thousands and thousands of jobs out there that will not only require you to be a u.s citizen even if you have a green card holder they will still hire you even if you don't have an active security clearance but you have the ability to obtain one that is you are clearable they will still hire you so please i want to appeal to you you have to be patient this is a new career you have to be patient to go through the process 
Don't get frustrated because the first two, three, four, five, six, or ten recruiters that reached out to you, they are asking you for an active security clearance. They are asking you that you must be a US citizen. Yes, just 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 a minority out of the majority. So don't be discouraged. Keep pushing out there. Keep searching for job. And you might need to strategize while you are searching for job, while these people are coming to you requesting that you must either be a US citizen or active security clearance, add to your knowledge base. Take certifications, cyber security certifications, if you have not done so. If you have one cyber security certification, plan to get additional one. Therefore, you are exposing yourself to other sectors of the economy that also require your skill set. So it is not only US government agency that requires your skill set. So please, don't be discouraged. The interview is also a learning process. So you need to be able to get this information right, keep searching for the job, don't be discouraged. Even if you are a green card holder, you can still get the job of cybersecurity analyst. Yes. And you can still obtain a security clearance. That is the public trust. As a green card holder, they can process you for a public trust clearance. And some people always ask me, oh, can I get a security clearance myself? No. As an individual, you cannot process security clearance for yourself. The employer that is demanding to hire you will be the one to process you for the security clearance. And I'm talking in regards to US government jobs. For other commercial organizations, healthcare, um, financial organization, banking, uh, you know, other organizations, they don't require you to have a security clearance. No, they don't require you to have that. So please and please, I'm just beseeching you, encouraging you that don't get discouraged if you are being faced with that challenge of being a US citizen and um, you must have an active security clearance as you go through your job search. Don't get discouraged. There are a lot of jobs out there that requires either a green card holder, a US citizenship and ability to obtain a security clearance. I hope this video has been helpful. Please, if you find it helpful and informative, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the like button for this video. Smash the like button for me, please and please. And then turn on your notification button so you can get notified when I post new videos out there. Thank you.